Welcome friends, uh, welcome to another episode where we're working towards perfecting the at-home cola. And I gotta tell you, not an easy feat. Um, when I first started this, a lot of people said you're crazy, don't bother, it's not worth it, it's too expensive, it's too time consuming, you'll never make it work. Don't look at that fried chicken. That fried chicken's for a project that we're working on that will come at the end of June. So hang on to your hat for that one. We're still working on Coke. And they said, don't do it. And I like a challenge. So as of today, I've done a dozen different versions. I started out with that 1886 Pemberton formula. And then I played around with the Pemberton formula a little bit to figure out um, what I could change, how it worked, how all the ingredients went together. Then I took a look at the natural soda recipe that's out there on the web. And I didn't like that one either. Um, the flavors just weren't quite there. Then I tried open cola. Um, again, not quite there, but open cola led me to cube cola. Um, and cube cola got me the closest, and I really liked their method. And I started playing around with the cube cola formula, and I added two things, um, which we'll get to later. And I changed the formula a little bit with the essential oils, and I think I've got something that I really like. So that's what we're gonna make today. And it is a little bit different than the last one, and we'll go through those steps as we move through it. Um, I'll explain them as we move through it. But first, I need to measure out all of the essential oils and mix them together. The essential oils we're using are orange, lime, lemon, cassia, which is a type of cinnamon, nutmeg, coriander, lavender, and neroli. So that's it for the essential oils. Um, the smell in the studio kitchen here is overwhelming. I mean, at this point, I'm starting to get a headache from the smell that this is giving off. I mean, it's, it's quite pleasant, but it's, um, I wouldn't want to stand around in it too long. So we're going to move on really quickly to the next part. And in the first video, we emulsified or mixed these oils into alcohol in order to mix that into water, because oil and water don't mix very well. In this version, we're going to use gum arabic, and of course, you know, probably heard me say it before, you want to use food grade gum arabic. Um, don't get it from the painting store or the art store. You want to make sure you get food grade. So into that, we're going to put some water. And now, we need to mix the gum arabic and the water together to make a really nice smooth mixture. Um, tried a whole bunch of things, I thought this was kind of stupid, but the cube cola people do this method, and you know what, it's the one that works, because you really need a lot of force to mix this together. So, um, make sure you've got a tall enough glass, this one slopes in at the top, so hopefully it'll keep everything in. I know I've tried a couple of different glasses and they haven't worked, so let's give this a try. Okay, now this is the point where if you have someone to help you, it would be great because you really should hold this glass while you're slowly dribbling this in. It's kind of like making mayonnaise. Um, slowly put this in, keep the drill working, and let's see what happens. Now this mixing process could take 15 or 20 minutes in order to get it mixed and emulsified properly, so be prepared. <laughs> 20 minutes of power whisking with a whisk attached to a drill, and I think we've got a really good emulsion. Now we move on to the rest of the flavor concentrate. Next thing is, I've got some water and I'm going to dissolve citric acid in the water and I need 65 mils of citric acid. Thirty, sixty, five, and stir until dissolved. The next ingredient that I need is this, um, and in this beaker is 
an industrial caramel. Um, it is both color and flavor, and it's used uh, in commercial baking. There's a, there's a place near us that I can get it from. I think you can buy it online. Um, there's even a version that you can buy in the grocery store here. So, citric acid and water is dissolved. It goes into the caramel. Next into there is some vanilla, and I need to check my notes. I need to make sure that I'm doing this correctly. I need 20 mils of vanilla. Now this vanilla isn't in the cube cola version, but I thought it really needed it, so I'm gonna add it. Next in, I'm gonna put cola nut extract. The cube cola version doesn't put it in. It puts in straight caffeine. I kind of like the, uh, the whole cola flavor. After experimenting it with a little while, this is what I want. So, in that goes. Now, if you were going to use coca leaf extract, um, this is where you would put it in, and you don't need very much to get the flavor that you're looking for. Um, I'm gonna leave it out from this flavor profile, and if I wanna put it in, I'll add just a little bit later when I mix the final mix. But this is where you'd put it in if you wanted to. So the emulsion now goes into here. Um, and so, let's get that all in there. And we whisk that in. And so there's enough flavor concentrate here to make just over 90 liters of pop. Um, so I'm just gonna store this in a jar and keep it aside, and then every once in a while I'll use it to make up the syrup, which is the next step. Now the next step is to dissolve all of this sugar in this much water. And it's going to be a long, slow process. So low, medium, low heat. Go really slow. Don't try to go too fast. Just until all of the sugar is dissolved and this liquid becomes clear. Now the patience pays off and what you end up with is a clearish liquid, about as clear as can be expected from twice as much sugar as water. Now, this has to cool to room temperature before we can move on to the next step. Okay, now we pour some of our flavor concentrate and this flavor concentrate will keep in a dark cool place for years, um, years. Now we add that to the syrup and we give that a good stir. Now this amount of syrup will make 14 liters of pop, um, which is what, three and a half or maybe four US gallons of pop. So I'm gonna put this into a jug and chill it down completely before we give it a taste. And as well, um, this'll keep for years, I mean, it's not going to take you years to drink this, probably, but it will keep for years. Okay, cola test number, I don't know, 13, 14, quite a few. It just needs a little bit of a stir. Now, when, if this works out, I'll mix it with water and then carbonate it in a keg instead of doing this mix at the end in the glass, because always carbonating in the, keg, in the keg will be much better. So you tell me that after many versions, this is the version that you like best. I think it's going to be the closest. You've tasted a few, mm -hmm. or tested, made a few.
I like it. Okay. I don't drink a lot of Coke. I know you don't. Yeah. So I can't really, I can't say that tastes like Coke. I don't drink a lot of pep. Like I just don't drink a lot of colas. So I, I don't, I don't think that tastes like Coke, but that is definitely a cola that I would drink. You know, I think the, pleasant. I think the modifications it, that I made were it, pretty it, good. From what I remember from the version one that you made, this one is more pleasant. Yes. There was something very, um, Shocking or sharp. Yes, and I think the method that I got from the Cube Cola people um, is a much better method for making a cola. It's a little bit more involved. It takes a lot more time. 20 minutes of, of mixing with a drill. That was, you know. Yeah, that was a, a yeah. you, you come home and this is what's happened to your drill. 20 minutes was too much, but I think it makes a better flavor, and I, I really like that. So. I think we're ready for the giant taste off. I think we've got everything we need for the giant taste off. Okay, yes, because we had our cousin kindly said, cousin sent, sent us the RC. Sent us an RC. We have uh, Haritos Mexican Cola, and I've had tons of people say, oh, Haritos doesn't make that. Um, there it is. RC. Is it that someone else makes it? Um, and it's distributed by Haritos? I, I think it's just made for the Canadian market. It's made oh. in Mexico, but I think it's just, <laughs> just, for us. just for us. Well, there you go, apparently. Oh, look um, at that. So that's Mexican Pepsi, Haritos Mexican Cola, Mexican Mex Coke, RC Cola. You got a bias to uh, where you're buying this. Is that because you could get the little bottles? Oh, you even have a regular cola. We've got a regular Coke that we'll test. Um, <laughs> Do you have any food in there? Oh, the thumbs up. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Another classic from around the world. Um, and I, I also have a Canadian Pepsi uh, somewhere in that fridge. So we're <laughs> going to do the giant taste off. So this giant taste off, I think we'll do in the next couple of days, and it will come out a couple of days after this video lands. Now, this concentrate that's nine makes up to ninety liters of cola. <laughs> that's um, a lot of cola. It's shelf stable. It will keep for years. Just keep it out of the sunlight. The syrup that we mixed up from a little bit of this, um, this syrup will make 14 liters of cola. And again, same sort of thing, this will keep in depth. There's enough sugar and acid and other stuff in there that it is. As long as you keep it in the dark. It's fine. It'll be fine. There you go. But then. Oh, don't look at the, don't look at the, <laughs> don't look at the chicken. Don't look at the chicken. Have another sip of your pop. Cheers, Jules. I think we nailed it.